Salutations, Internet! This is Frosty the Dragon, back with more Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Scattered across the Shan, orphaned and alone, their journey begins. And we are still in Cyrus Thala. Cyrus Thala? Whatever. Oh, yeah, I didn't save from last time. Silly me. Roll on. In progress. I actually want to see if I can back up for a second. Or not. But, yeah, Anwen's been running through the night, fleeing the horrors of the doomed camp. With any sort of plan, I wonder. Yeah, light is breaking, isn't it? Quest objectives, map menu. So I've got to go about four squares over. Um... Yeah, yeah, Trixie, you might want to get over here. <laughs> and a hungry demon. Solana guide arrows. <laughs> and we get pixies as a result of that. So, a hero portrait. Oh. Color of a unit does not change the abilities or effects. That's important to note, so... Go here. Yeah, stick with green for now. Just because I've got the tougher units in two slots. When I get the third lesser unit, you better believe I'm going to use it. Curious. Oh, you can only get grab the absolute first. Oh, there's also a spell meter involved here. So taking a reduced taking a receiving damage and charges a spell. When that's full, you can cast. Oh yeah, notice that move. If you create a formation, they move to the front. If you create a chain formation, they move to the front. Same with walls. Now, I didn't get to see whether the Pixies had a special ability or not. Uh, oh, well, there goes the wall. Yeah, they're just going to charge him as an attack. Well, the Pixies are going to be a bit longer, so... Play this the way I think it should be done. We will have four attacks ready next turn. There's a decent placement. That's not so good. I would have put it back behind the other two there because of the fact that they're going to attack next turn. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up the Pixie ability here. Oh, the spell meter wasn't even necessary. Just because I know how to face this battle. The spell meter will be much more necessary later on, trust me. Trust me on that one. Again, just because it looks like I'm new to, to this version does not mean I'm new to the rest of how this plays.
I have received 93 gold. No stone, no crystal. Linking? Uh, yeah, just for the sake of... <coughs> sake of you guys, I will explain the tutorial... Give the tutorial about linking here. My understanding... If linking is what I think it is... Okay, two formations of the same color. Green, two green core attacks. Oh, it's just a timing issue. Okay. Something I should have been getting previous. Yeah, I saw that. That is definitely a wise move. All unit... And when they say all unit types, they mean all unit types. You will see what they mean when we get those types of units. Yeah. So we've we're there is progress in the main quest right there. Yeah, slow down. Maythorn's off to go explore here. Later that day... Oh, the thing I was thinking of earlier was, well... There was the linking thing, but there was fusing was the thing I was thinking of. Basically, what's going to happen is I'll mention things in the text and then just skip over it. If you're worried about me going too fast, there's a pause feature. <laughs> I'll change my words with each passing breeze. <sighs> uh, okay. Whoa, Mr. Jump to Conclusions. So, Wilted Leaves, is that the Sylvan equivalent for For God's Sake? Hell if I know. I still have to wonder if that's the thing Aiden picked up. They are... Let me see. Okay, escape and hit save, which I'll do later. Okay. So I have all the basic units now for the, for the Sylvan faction. You have elite and champion units, which we'll go over when we get to that point. Let's go here first. Yes. Artifacts. 
You can only equip one artifact at a time. And you equip them by going here. I want that leaf plate. You bastard. You prick bastard. Eh, I suppose I shouldn't be letting my emotions get the better of me here. The matter is, is we just... We just lost our ally in this. Oh good. This is all freeform now. Not quite what I was expecting. And they're picking the ones I just fortified, thankfully. So actually, I'm gonna lead up to something here. That that demon row right here. It is a very similar principle to how fusing works in the game, but fusing has to be done with the same uh, color of unit. Ooh. Yeah, in a yeah, it's gonna get grisly in a couple turns. Turns. Yeah, he is very much unarmed here. them here and put this put this pixie here for a setup for next turn and okay the demons have got a while it's not quite gonna be a killer a killer move I see what you're trying to do and that's not gonna help well, not fully what he's trying to do, but close enough. <laughs> Should have stayed. <laughs> Wouldn't have wound up with such a polarizing uh, victory if you had stayed. Yeah, I'm going to be all over this anytime I can make a joke like this, but... So, okay, um, I'd ask if he was hallucinating, but whenever there's dying words involved, you never assume they're hallucinating because of injuries. Um, um, deer? Parting moss. Yeah, I'm going to show off any tutorial I get, even though I know the game, just for your guys' benefit. So you're not completely lost on how this works. So, example. So what these... The deer are what we call an elite unit. So you match up the color of the elite unit with two core units behind it. And 
strength and special abilities, yes. Like, in the case of the deer, this. This wall. See it? Yeah, elite units are limited. So, anytime they try to... If an enemy army plows through an elite unit, you actually lose You actually lose them. You have to repurchase them. Which is the whole might and magic aspect of the game. Yeah, you do, nev you do not want to right-click on one of these guys ever. already thinking it. Yeah, they can also, yeah. Yeah, you can basically, if with the right timing, can I call for reinforcements? Yeah, with expert timing, like they're about to demonstrate here. I would have preferred to use reinforcements to do it, but... I guess whatever the game teaches you. Elite units cannot form walls. That's also important. And kind of a good thing, too. So, there's your tutorial on how uh, elite units work. I want to deal with a side quest, too. Or what would be a side quest. What's over here? There's no note over there to find out. You better believe I'm going to be back for that. Yeah, you're pretty much going to get this bounty guy in every chapter. That's my understanding. At least my, rem my memory of this game. Yes, yeah, tidy... Clean. Yeah, troublemakers. <laughs> that he had to use the bar of soap comment. Ugh. Oh, sure. Why we're hunting a fellow elf, I have no idea, but a bounty is a bounty. Sorry, kid, you're not getting your peace and quiet. He has druids, I think. Yes, very wise move right there. Yep, delete that one. What? No! You delete that unit, get an extra move. What is wrong with you? Um. Alright, let's see. I'll just do this.
Yeah, sure, now he does it. I have no shame in feeding him strategies just because they can't hear me. But that is bad right there. bear there. Because I want to defend that. Sweet defense. Sweet, glorious defense. And he deletes it. Yep. There's a good, there's your good opener. Oh, it's a blue one. My mistake. There's my green one. I'll just set up for next turn. Yeah, green to blue was harder to detect than I thought. My trump card. Yep. And because I want this to be over with... Oh! See, in the DS version, I recall there only being one arrow you used to pierce through. Since we have three instead... I'll snipe through the two weakest and they're next to each other. So, the Steam version apparently upgrades quite a few things about the game. I've received stone, or ore, I guess, in this game. I received crystal! Nice! However, I think that is enough for now. We will be back to this forest to continue cleaning it up. And I'm going to make my adjustment here while I still can. Music down to about that much. This is Frosty, signing out.